Hi, it's Brainoism with uh, World Peace Clowns and the Emergency Circus. You know, I'm kind of concerned about Fukushima. You don't hear anything on the news about it. Nobody's reporting it. But there's a lot of information about it on the internet. And I think it's really important that we kind of tune into this. Because there's some things going on now that are unprecedented in all of the nuclear power that has been happening for the last 30 or 40 years. Do you realize that right now they're trying to move the uh, the rods out of the tank in uh, Reactor 4? There's 1,400 like core nasty nuclear things that are like hot for like a thousand years or something and they're having to move them out of reactor 4 with a special crane and move it to a, t a container that then they take the container out and they put that in a truck they move the truck across the yard and put it in another tank and they have to do this 1,400 times without one mistake. This has never been done before. This is the first time. And we have a private company, Tesco, that is doing this. It's not being overseen by the world. Japan is not letting anybody else in. Yet, it's affecting the world. Now, on top of that, if you look at reports on YouTube, on the internet, the radioactive water is coming across and it's coming straight for the whole western United States, all the way from Alaska down to Baja, is going to be a nuclear hot zone, a plume of nuclear waste. It doesn't dissipate. It's a plume, a column that goes from the top all the way down to the sea floor and it's moving across. And it's going to be hitting us for the next four years. <laughs> wow. I don't know what the implications are, although I can tell you right now, I'm not eating any seafood. Uh, and... <sighs> This clown right here really likes sushi, but I ain't eating no sushi. And what you have to know is that the way the currents go, the current comes up and through to the uh, west coast, up to uh, uh, Alaska, and then it goes down all the way around South America, and it goes all the way around. Eventually, this plume is going to make it worldwide. This has never happened before. Do you realize this has never happened? This is some real shit, people. There is a debris. Like, it's like, I heard a report. It's like uh, three times the size of Great Britain, the island of Great Britain is coming towards us at 1,700 miles out. A debris of stuff that washed over from the tsunami at Fukushima. It's coming towards America. We have no idea. I mean, we're going to have like toilets and, you know, gym, play gyms and all kinds of things. SUVs. Boats, wood, debris, household goods, teddy bears. 
radioactive teddy bears washing up on our shore. This is not a local situation. This is a worldwide situation. This is bigger than Chernobyl. This is bigger than Three Mile Island. This is unprecedented. <laughs> Do you realize this is the future of our children? This is really here. This is bigger than Super Bowl. Are you going to wake up? We do not need nuclear power. The suppressed free energy? Do your research! I've seen the research. Hundreds of people who have come up with free energy have been murdered. Patents have been bought. People have been scared away from their research who were right on line to create energy for free. Like Tesla? Come on. Look up Nikola Tesla. Look him up. This isn't like a myth. Do you realize that the power companies, the grid, has been taken over by businessmen who care nothing about the future of our world? I mean, apparently they don't. Otherwise, they would. Otherwise, they would be taking care of this. Otherwise, I mean, why isn't CNN covering this? There's a plume coming at us. They already found a whole bunch of fish washing up on our shore, radioactive filled. What was it like? Fifteen dolphins. Every one of them tested positive. The whales swim all through this. A bluefin dolphin will cross the ocean between us and there three times. Even though it's like 3,000 miles or something. I don't know how far it is. It doesn't matter. It's a long way. These fish travel hundreds and hundreds of miles in a season, they go back and forth. It's like their highway, man. And this is one fucking polluted highway now. We, it's, it's over. I mean, we can't go back. We can't undo this. But what if another one goes off? Look at the BP oil well. Do you realize that the Gulf is dead in Louisiana? They're not talking about this. I come from Louisiana. <sighs> Look. There is environmental rape going on on the planet. And we can sign petitions. We can call people. Is it doing any good? I don't think so. Uh, do we have a plan B? Are there some geniuses out there who can give us a plan B? You know, I hey... Turn on the light. Stay with me. There are people out there who have the answers, but they cannot deliver these answers 
until me and you join with them. We have to join together. We're the many, remember? We're the many, the many, the many, the many, remember? So check it out. Get involved. Find your cause. Find something to shine on. I'm going to continue my work as a clown, spreading joy, speaking out a little bit. Because if you know the tradition of clowns, you know that we have always been a part of the forefront thinkers. The tradition of clowning is, is to show the people what they are and they're not going to hit me because I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a cute little clown. Listen. Fukushima is really the most important issue going on right now. Iran doing a nuclear bomb. God, do we need another country with a nuclear bomb? I you know, I'm concerned about Pakistan with theirs, Israel with theirs, France, Germany, Spain, Italy. I mean, Ger I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. Russia. <sighs> when does this all end with this nuclear crap? Whose idea was this anyway? You know, back in the, in the 70s when they were trying to put the nuclear pens in, I was part of the no nukes movement. But guess what? We are no... We're no... deterrent for industry. We're like little bitches to the corporation. I said it earlier. I'll say it again. Stop consuming. Don't you realize that it would be so easy to take this grid down if we didn't consume anything? Recycle. Do not buy I don't care if it's Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day. You go buy that chocolate candy for your girl. It's made by slave labor. Is your coffee free labor? Did you buy a non-conflict diamond? Come on, people. Wake up. Please. Fukushima is unprecedented. It's unprecedented. It's never happened before. This is bigger. Oh, we're talking about reactor four they're taking the rods out of. They still haven't done with one, two, and three. There's still work to do on them. They are under risk as well. There's They're leaking like God, an astronomical tons of water into our ocean. Our ocean. Humanity's ocean. Don't you get this? This is humanity. I don't mean to be ranting and raving. I'm just a little concerned about the future of our children. What kind of a what kind of a world are we leaving for them? It just blows me away that we sit by and let a company, not a government, a company handle the future of all humanity? Do you realize the damage that has been done to the Pacific Ocean has been done? It is, it is radioactive 
for years and years and years, like 30 years or more, maybe even a thousand. I don't know. I'm a clown, man. But I know I watch news reports, not the ones coming out on MSNBC, ABC, NBC, CNN. They're all owned by Whirlpool or GE, I mean, or Viacom, Disney, which is 17% owned by the Saudis. These corporations, they suck. And every time we go and buy stuff from them, we support their cause. not making me a happy clown. I'm concerned about my children. I'm concerned about your children. Would you do me a favor? Would you um, see what you could do about Fukushima. This is Brinoism with World Peace Clowns and the Emergency Circus.